coach, congratulations on a huge upset win. How, how did you pull it off today? <laughs> um, I attribute it to, uh, to our staff. Uh, I thought offensively, defensively, special teams, uh, the game plan was, was on point. Uh, I thought we did a great job of inspiring our players to, to be prepared for the task at hand. Um, and hats off, man. I, I could not be more proud of our staff, nor the players for the efforts, uh, but more importantly, the preparation that they put in uh, for us to have been through today. Coach, uh, what was uh, bigger in your mind, uh, the 339 yards rushing or all those stops that you guys made in the fourth quarter? <laughs> Which one? Yeah, uh, I think it's a combination. I think you got to have all of that for victory. Uh, certainly, we had a very game opponent today. You're talking about the leader of our conference, a team that was 4-1, and one, had beat uh, several SEC opponents over the years, and as recently as this year, after uh, being down by 25. So uh, there was never a dull moment where we were content. Uh, so we wanted to make sure we finished. It was our theme throughout, the, uh, throughout our last two weeks of preparation for this opponent. Uh, I thought we did a good job of finishing. Uh, I can't say one was greater than the other. I thought we needed those big plays in, in a rushing game, and I thought we needed those stops. Without both of them in combination, uh, we may fall second. So we're very fortunate that both uh, were able to happen for us this, on today. Coach, um, you, before this game, you guys were going on a three-game losing streak. But however, throughout this whole week, it seemed that you and Everybody on the staff seemed very optimistic going into this game. What was the thing that was making you guys feel so confident going into this game? Well, we didn't have a choice. You know, when uh, when when you've been knocked down, uh, you have one one or two things to do. You can fold, or you can scratch your way. You can fight your way out of it. And uh, we were determined to find a way to uh, to fight our way out of this thing. Uh, we have a long season still before us. Uh, we were not in the business uh, of lying down for anybody. And uh, early on. When, when I visit with you guys, it was early as last Monday in the round table, I said to you, uh, this team is going to require our best. They'll get our best. And I thought they got uh, the very best that we had today in our preparation and the way that the guys played today. Frank, I wonder if you can speak to the importance of that fast start. You had 77 yards, 71 yards, yeah. I guess on the first four plays uh, from scrimmage. Yeah, I was a little shocked by that. <laughs> uh, you know, you look at the cumulative at the back end of the game, we only we had less than 50 plays, and I think they may have had 80. So we didn't have a lot of plays, uh, but we were very fortunate that we had big plays. And so uh, we knew there were a defense that was uh, very good, and their whole uh, principle was, was to, to create confusion with movement and uh, exotic type uh, stunts and slants and, and all of those things. And, uh, and they got home sometimes against us, and they've been getting home against teams uh, a lot this year. We thought that if we could catch them a time or two, uh, maybe we can get a big play. And so we're very fortunate in our preparation uh, for, our, for our coordinators, our assistant coaches, and the players alike, that when we saw those things, we were able to take advantage of them. Questions? Coach, you talked about this week uh, finishing, playing the complete 60-minute game. You you didn't let them at the end of the first half, and they were hard charging at the end of the second half. How 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 refreshing or how good does that make you feel that this team finally put together a complete game? Yeah, you know what you look at. Uh, I sat before you guys three other opportunities, uh, uh, starting with with Arizona State, and then the next two weeks uh, to follow, and both at halftime and the back end of the game said to you. Uh, we're, we're not there yet. We haven't found a way uh, to finish. We have some growing up to do that we're a constant work in progress, and we needed to know how to do those things better. And I thought uh, our theme this week uh, was consistent in finishing, and uh, we called it 60 minutes of hell, that we're going to finish this game. And so when we, when we got in positions uh, at halftime, when they scored with three minutes, uh, it was important for us to try to answer, so to go back down uh, and get a field goal out of the deal at halftime was, was big. And then when we were backed up in our own end zone at the back end of the game, when they when the charge started yet again, uh, Jorion breaks a 90-plus something yard run. And so those things were certainly gratifying because we're conscientious of those uh, things that were dilemmas for us throughout the, the, the first por uh, portion of the season. And so to rectify that was certainly good, and, and I couldn't be more proud of us. I hear all the way to the right, Jerry. Wilson, what uh, in your mind was the difference in the running game today as opposed to the, the first four games of the season? Very dramatic 
yeah. uh, change. Communication. That when uh, when people try to disguise things, that don't keep it to yourself. You recognize it. Tell you, the guy next to you what we're doing here. And so I thought we communicated much more effectively. And so the mental aspect of the game, it wasn't necessarily where games in the past where guys were just bullying us. Uh, guys would come free. Defenders would come free because of our lack of communication. We rectified that. We communicated much better. We slowed it down in practice. And we gave them examples of the things that they should expect. And I thought uh, we did a very good job of pointing those things out, communicating, so we were able to be on the right people when it was time to block them. Frank, a follow-up to that, Frank. Uh, Jalen Rose, I mean, you know, Jarvan, of course, had the, the great run. And uh, this, his, his uh, performance at Jalen Rose, and also just, if I may, just a little follow-up, every coach needs a, a signature victory. And I know this is early in your tenure. Right now, I guess that would qualify as a signature victory for you, right? I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, it's signature because it's our first conference win. Uh, it's signature because it came at a time when we were on a three-game skid, uh, skid that we needed something positive to happen for this program. Uh, and especially when you were in, in position uh, to have victory and, and allow it to slip out of your hands, uh, to be able to grasp onto it, I think, is something that we can build on. Uh, we're still not there yet. We're still working, but I thought today was a huge step in the right direction in our program. What about Jalen? I thought Jalen was fantastic. I, you know, both of those backs had over 120 yards. I thought he ran with determination. I thought he ran with patience. Uh, so, you know, if he can continue to do those things and draw beyond, I think we'll, we'll be able to rush the ball well. I thought they both played with a chip on their shoulder today. Frank, I wonder if you could speak to the, the play of the offensive line as far as protecting Dalton. That was a defense that was averaging, you know, leading the league in sacks, just the yeah. way that they played today. Yeah, you know what, and, uh, and because of all the things we talk about, the disguise stuff that they do, the exotic blitzes that they do from the middle, off the edge, move around, um, that requires our offensive line to communicate it very well. And then we were able to use our backs to help on, on the edge from the perimeter to chip off as they went out. And so I thought we did a good job of pr protecting uh, Dalton for the most part. Uh, once again, you're talking about a defense that lead, has the sack leader, has the most uh, tackles for, for yards uh, from a defensive player, and then an overall top defense in our conference. Uh, and so to be able to move the ball effectively uh, the way we did is certainly something to be proud of. Frank, you guys are one-on-one -on -one in conference, and everything's still ahead of you as far as uh, potentially reaching the postseason. How, how big is this game for building momentum for the yeah. rest of the season? Yeah, uh, it's, it, it's huge, uh, but it's one game. <laughs> and so uh, it, it gives us a step in the right direction. The preparation starts immediately, imminently on Rice, um, our next opponent. And I think that once we can, uh, we'll enjoy tonight. Well, you know, it's a big victory for our team. It's, um, once again, I, I couldn't be more proud of these kids. You know, we, we went in the locker room and I shared with them, um, uh, victory vindicated. Victory vindicated because of your hard work and your perseverance and your consistency in the things that we asked of you. And uh, they believed, they believed. And, and you guys pointed it out, even during the week, going against an opponent that was so game and had tremendous success in my hats off, Jay Hobson does a great job. That is a good football team we, we beat today. Um, but they believed in themselves. They worked extremely hard. And so for them to reap the benefits of, of, of their hard work is, is something that I think uh, is a positive and it will allow them to have a positive outlook as they move forward. Got time for two more. Frank, how much did Pete get into this victory after the game was over with, and how much do you think it benefited you guys having somebody to coach from them last season? Yeah, um, you know, they have a new offensive coordinator, and so the preparation, um, they have a new head coach. So the things that they're doing, he, he could help us from a uh, personnel standpoint, knowing who the people are. But from a schematic standpoint, they were totally different from an offensive standpoint. Uh, with their offensive coordinator. But, you know, Pete's done an outstanding job all year long, I thought. Uh, he put the guys in the right place, and I thought when they were in the right place, they made the plays that, that they were uh, supposed to. And, you know, you go through a game, they'll have catches, they'll have touchdowns. Uh, but to keep them in front of us, to tackle them when we need to, and not allow the big plays, um, which they were so accustomed to doing, uh, I thought we did a very good job at that. How did he react to this? Uh, well, I just hugged all of them. I mean, you know, they, they were all the same to me. I hugged everybody, kissed them, and smiled. So um, he was as joyous as everyone else.